this morning. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about AMBER, which is the Advanced Materials and Bioengineering Research Centre, which is hosted in Cran. Um, it's a collaboration with Trinity College UCC and RCSI, but we're also expanding it. I'm going to give you a little bit of a flavour of what we do, um, why it's important, and, um, and where we're going in the future. So AMBER is all about the marriage of excellent material science research and industry needs to create an outcome. And that outcome can be new products, it can be new scientific outcomes and discoveries, um, but it also can be jobs. And, and we are a Science Foundation Ireland funded centre, and we're heavily uh, engaged with industry. And so at, at the core of our uh, mission is creating jobs and anchoring jobs in Ireland. Why we're here is really in support of the Irish manufacturing sector. As, as everybody here knows, it, it's, a, it's a very key driver of the Irish economy. It employs over 220,000 people here on the island, and yeah. um, we're of about 75 billion euro a year. So it, it, it's very, very key to the economy. However, innovation, um, particularly materials and processes, is key for sustaining that competitiveness, um, both within the multinational sector and SMEs. And really, a, Amber is all about helping to drive innovation back into the manufacturing base. So really increasing the attractiveness of Ireland as a research base for both multinational and indigenous industry. And by um, carrying out world-class materials research uh, to develop new technology <coughs> processes and products. And there's an increasing trend both in the country and internationally of companies de-risking their R&D by carrying out the high-risk R&D with the universities and collaborating. And the open innovation model has really grown as, as, a, as a model over the last 10 years, and, and AMBER is really working across that open innovation model. So the AMBER mission is to be the national resource for world-class materials uh, science um, in Ireland. Um, it is not just Trinity. Um, we also collaborate, uh, so or CSI and UCC are core partners, and we're also expanding into the other university bases across, across Ireland. Uh, we're supporting advanced manufacturing in Irish companies, so we would really see ourselves as a complementary centre to some of the Irish manufacturing research centres that are starting to, to be instated and uh, built up. And um, improve Irish manufacturing competitiveness, and most importantly, enable job retention and creation in Ireland. So who we are, um, as I said, we're a collaboration at the moment between Trinity College Dublin, RCSI and UCC. We're currently adding uh, Tyndall, DCU and UL as key partners, and we're continuously expanding our industry partner pipeline. Um, we currently have 120 researchers on site. They are a mixture of professors, uh, PhD students and postdocs, um, and we have 28 industry partners. Um, it's a multidisciplinary centre, so we work across physics, chemistry, immunology, bioengineering, pharmacy and medicine. And so it's, it's, very, it's a real a multidisciplinary um, effort that we have on site. Our funding, we are predominantly funded by Science Foundation Ireland. Um, we have an award for €35 million Euro over a six-year programme. Um, our target is to bring in, to match that funding with industry uh, in investment uh, of €23 million. That is a combination of cash and in-kind funding. And we also have a non-exchequer funding target, which is predominantly European Union, um, but we can also look at the US and, and other funding, um, of €27 million. Um, we're currently halfway through the programme. <coughs> um, we have already secured our 8.7 million of industry funding. It's roughly 50-50 cash in kind. And we have exceeded our target at the moment um, of where we're at 20.3 million European funding, predominantly from the Horizon 2020 and European Research Council programmes. And so, so we are on track and in some cases we're exceeding our expectations. This is a, just a snapshot of all our researchers. The Professor Mick Morris is, is in the crowd as well, so he's the director of, of AMBER and he's, he's been my colleague um, on the scientific side. Um, but we have a number of researchers across multiple schools of, of all our partner institutions. And we also don't confine ourselves to Ireland. We recognise that we can't be just the, the world-class researcher in Ireland. Um, so we do compete internationally and we partner internationally. We have a large number of programmes with the United States. Um, and also across the European Union and Asia um, to partner with the best of the best across the world. <coughs> world 
world-class research requires world-class facilities, and so there is a very large investment in infrastructure within AMBER, most notably the Advanced Microscopy Laboratory, which is down on the Silicon Docks. Um, it is the, the national centre for microscopy. Um, we are, have just, we will be launching on the 27th of April a one-of-a-kind electron microscope. It's a scanning tunnel, tunneling electron microscope. For the, for the chemists and physicists among you, you can actually see atoms, which, is, which blows me away. Um, but that will be launched um, predominantly focused at the, at the research um, community, but also open to industry to use. And um, we also have the full spectrum of other electron microscopes um, down there. And we're open for business, both from an academic perspective and an industry perspective, uh, to carry out work on your behalf. Um, we also have a number of polymer processing labs, photonic labs, and the table facility uh, for carrying out low level deposition um, work. And coming very soon, we will be adding to this suite of technology with 3D printing and additive processing labs, uh, which is again going down at the Silicon Docks. Uh, we've just secured quite a large. Uh, infrastructure grant uh, from Science Foundation Ireland in support of that and we're, we're now starting to order our equipment there. So this will be very much linking <coughs> into the advanced manufacturing uh, activities across the island as well. So our research model is very much a hub and spoke model and so we have a core platform of areas, activities that we're world class at. And they are two dimensional materials, so nanomaterials that are nano in, in two dimensionals and, and macro in, in one dimensional. Thin film stacks and nanowires, so a lot of the work that we do with Intel is driven out of this work around thin films and, and high-end electronics and biomaterials. And, and these are our platform technologies where we're doing the very early phase research. A lot of our PhD students will be working on the platforms. Um, then we have a number of spokes uh, or targeted projects uh, which are taking that platform technology and applying it to a particular industry problem. Um, we partner with a range of multinationals and SMEs, so roughly about 50-50 in terms of our stats of the we partner with. Um, so that's currently our research model. So we're taking things out of the platform into the applied. And our, our TRL levels run from one to about five in terms of where we are in the, in the technology space. We take very early stage research and bring it up to pre, pre not pre-commercialization, but pre-formal that way. <coughs> This is just a quick look see at all our partners. Um, they, they roughly fall into four, four buckets <coughs> medical devices and, and delivery systems. So we have people like Medtronic and Dupuis working in there. The pharma side, uh, we have been working with some SMEs, including Sigma from White Pharma, who we have a, a joint venture or a, a product uh, that we commercialize with. Um, we have a number of industrial technologies, um, most notably Merck Millipore and Thomas Swan, that I'll talk about in a, in a little bit. And then ICT, uh, so the very, very big ICT players, including Intel, um, Western Digital, and the Milan and Photonics. Just a quick snapshot of some of the partners we work with. Um, Western Digital is a very interesting one because they do not have a base in Ireland or a presence in Ireland, but they do partner with us in the Photonics space. As, uh, area, um, and we are actually building our collaboration with Western Digital now from initially very focused on photonics out to more materials and graphene and we're continuing to add co-funded and fully funded projects there. Um, we have a very long term collaboration with Intel, it, it spans over 10 years, um, working at the most senior level in the US and China and, and in Ireland and some of the technology that have been developed in Amber are now in the Intel funnel of components research and are moving along towards their commercialization path, um, and we're continuing to add into that. Merck Midiport for is another very strategic partner to us. Amber is their research partner of choice. Um, and we have a multi-site engagement um, with the UK, Ireland, and the US. And then finally, Bell Labs. We have been selected as one of 15 of their strategic partners. Um, and we again have a multi-site engagement. And so this is just a quick snapshot of, of who we engage with. Um, to give you some specific examples, so Intel is a 10-year collaboration, and so we started off working um, on some magnetic materials and some selective deposition, really focused at the beyond Moore's law space uh, for Intel. And so we have a very long-term research pipeline. Intel have their own innovation funnel, and we are very much at the back end of that funnel, so we're the pre-funnel, if you like, when they take technology from us into their funnel. Um, we currently have five researchers in residence, so we also use a researcher in residence model where we have people from Intel who come and work full time in our centre, they're embedded in our centre, and then they also see, get visibility to everything else that's going on within the centre, which brings people back, it brings the technology back into Intel. 
We had over 30 graduates employed uh, from Amber directly back into Intel. Um, and Intel have also increased their presence in Ireland in the research ecosystem. And so it's a very good partnership success story. In terms of our committee for, we started off the engagement by doing materials uh, characterization of, of some of their manufacturing problems. Um, we've now expanded that into much more doing membranes for diagnostic process. Our committee for have a, have our, a larger manufacturer of pregnancy tests, and we do a lot of work with them on that. Um, so we've really anchored that site here, helped to anchor that, that site here in Cork um, for their jobs. And we're expanding their collaboration now, including the DCU and UL um, integration. Um, and we have also some SFI fellows who are embedded in it in Mercury for from Amber. And then finally, my final one is Thomas Swan, which is a small company in the UK. Um, they manufacture materials, uh, particularly nanomaterials. We've actually licensed our technology um, on exfoliation of graphene, um, and they have now a commercial product. Uh, Thomas Swan actually sells to Sigma Aldrich um, as part of their scientific supplier. But most interestingly, we've also it has also spawned, spawned a collaboration with SAB Miller. Uh, so we actually put some of our materials into their plastics to make plastic composites for <coughs> um, beer bottles, basically plastic beer bottles to help with um, with longevity of the beer. So again, this is just giving you a quick snapshot of, of the types of work that we do. This is just our, our KPIs. I, I know that my colleague from ZEGU is very interested in what we uh, we do. So some of the things to note, we have 38 convention disclosures and 10 licenses. Uh, we have a number of PhD students coming through our pipeline, which would be the future graduates going into the industry. Um, most notably, we have eight European Council Awards, which are highly prestigious European rewards, which is a testament to the science, the quality of the science that happened. Um, and we have over 500 publications. So I'll, I'll leave it there if you have any questions.